Good morning, everyone. Uh, this morning, we're going to be learning about the grand old drink of the South. A uh, refreshing uh, beverage that was designed in 1847 in Tennessee. Uh, and it's been made popular through southernly sort of gentlemen. Uh, get-togethers, and also a lot of college fraternity parties uh, throughout the country. We're, of course, I'm speaking of Southern Comfort. Yes. The drink we're going to be making today is called a Confederate Highball. All right. Step number one for making the Confederate Highball is... Admit you are thirsty. I am thirsty. Sweet Lord Jesus, I'm thirsty. Let it rain on me. Step number two is to secure a bottle of Southern Comfort. This is available for under $20 at many cash-only liquor stores. The liquor store I bought this didn't even recognize a credit card as being a you know, legitimate way to, to pay for an item. They looked at me and said, Hey, Velma, you want to play with a piece of plastic? You can actually find that at a grocery store as well. Yes, you can. Or some other sort of convenience store. Yeah. Step number three. Add two cubes to a highball or Collins grass. I'm going to crush the ice in the southern tradition. Sometimes the ice sticks together and needs to be separated out. Now would be a good time to say that today I'm actually myself going to make two separate drinks because the Confederate Highball is one of those drinks that does not have like a specific recipe. It's more of a general term for mixing Southern Comfort with other ingredients. I will also be having a two for There's the ice. There you go. Two cubes, two glasses. Okay, I'm ready. Good. Okay, we're on to step number four. Step number four is add one and a half jiggers of 100 proof Southern Comfort to each of your Confederate highballs. So I'm going to add one jigger. Oh, and you can really smell that sort of citrusy, spicy, clove kind of uh, odor. Odor. As soon as Don't you open it. I love smelling the odor as soon as it's open. Burnt tire. Burnt tire. Crabgrass, beech nut, tobacco, skull, Kodiak, poison ivy, poison ivy, poison oak, poison sumac, milkweed. Was it one and a half? Yeah, one and a half jiggers per drink. Better out of all. All right, I spilled a little. That smell I'm experiencing right now is pretty much the smell of the old South. Alright. Nice. Step number five. Top with your favorite soda. We have uh, soda options here. What would you like for your first one? I want a twist, lemon, lime, and ginger ale. Okay, here you go. Here's the ginger ale for you. Actually, in the South, we say Coke, and then and then you say, what kind of Coke do you want? Um, and lime. And he's right. Take. So I'm going to choose cream soda for my first sweater and highball. Now it's important also to note that we are drinking Shasta Cola. That's an independent pop manufacturer. Uh, we did not want this episode to turn into a commercial, a de facto commercial for big soda. 
So we are using this is independent soda. And for my second, I'm going to be adding cola. Be sure to add the colas and layers to accentuate the flavor profile of your Confederate highball. Enjoy. And also be sure to stir. Which brings us to step number six, which is stir. Sorry. It's okay. Step. Stir your drink gently. Step number seven. Add lemon wedge. Butt plug or M cherry. Well, M cherry actually stands for maraschino cherry. I was a little confused by I was confused by that whole step. I'm gonna add a maraschino cherry to the cream soda Confederate highball, and I'm gonna add a lemon twist to the, the one made of cake. Alright, I cut off the ass Use fingers. So off the fingers. Uh, ass the mm -hmm. end of the lemon. Put in my beverage. Now the way he's talking, this would not be considered polite conversation in the south. I need to know thank you. Also decided to add an M cherry. There we go. These are our drinks right here. Oh, you made. Oh, I just added one to my cream soda. Okay, now uh, step number eight is clink glass with a neighbor. I'm not ready. Yet. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Still working. Clink glass with a neighbor. Yeah. Step number nine to drink your first Confederate highball. Yeah. It's really delicious. Uh, I lay in the spot. <clears throat> Step number ten. Drink second Confederate highball. Step number 11 is eat your garnish, maraschino cherries. I guess I have to eat my lemon wedge. Step number 12 is go find a local girl wearing tights as pants. Uh, my step number 12 is going to be the finish my second highball. Uh, 